What will our Earth look like in 100 million years? Have you ever wondered about this? Time as we understand it, is a concept that's as fluid and changeable as the waters of the oceans that cover our planet. It is a constant, relentless force, always moving, always changing, shaping and reshaping the world we live in. If we could take a step back, way back, and look at the Earth from a distance, we'd see a world in constant motion. Imagine if you will a time-lapse video of Earth, a snapshot of the planet every thousand years, for the last hundred million years. You'd see the continents drift and shift, colliding and separating, forming the world as we know it today. You'd see ice ages come and go, the rise and fall of mighty civilizations, the birth and extinction of countless species. That's the past, a story written in the rocks and the fossils, the ice cores and the tree rings. But what about the future? What will the world look like a hundred million years from now? It's a question that's both intriguing and daunting. To embark on this journey into the future, we must first understand that the Earth is a dynamic, ever-changing entity. Just as it has evolved over the past hundred million years, it will continue to evolve over the next hundred million. The continents will drift, the climate will change, new life forms will emerge, and old ones will disappear. But what about us? What will become of humanity? Will we adapt and evolve? Or will we become just another fossil layer in the Earth's crust? And what of the creatures that share the planet with us? What will become of them? These are questions that scientists, futurists, and thinkers have been pondering for years. And while we may not have definitive answers, we can make educated guesses based on what we know about the Earth's past and present. So, strap in and let your imagination soar as we journey into the distant future, a future that is as fascinating as it is uncertain. Let's dive into the future, 100 million years from now. Imagine the continents shifting, the land masses morphing, the Earth as we know it forever changing due to the incredible power of plate tectonics. This theory, first proposed in the early 20th century, has revolutionized our understanding of Earth's geology. Plate tectonics is the engine that drives the Earth's crust, the outermost shell that is divided into several large and small pieces, or plates. These plates, floating on the semi-fluid mantle beneath, are constantly moving. This movement might seem slow, with an average speed of a few centimeters per year, but given enough time, it can reshape the entire face of the planet. Think about it. 250 million years ago, all the continents we know were fused into one supercontinent, Pangaea. Fast forward to today, these continents have drifted apart, creating the familiar world map we all grew up studying. Now let's project this forward. Let's travel another 100 million years into the future. In this distant epoch, scientists predict that the continents will once again come together to form a new supercontinent. Some call it Pangaea Proxima, or the next Pangaea. This future landmass formation is a result of the Atlantic Ocean closing while the Pacific Ocean expands. North and South America could merge with Antarctica and Africa, leaving Australia and Asia on the outskirts. Of course, these predictions are based on current plate motion, and many factors could potentially alter this future geography. Volcanic activity, changes in Earth's rotation, even the gravitational pull of the Moon can influence the movement of tectonic plates. But one thing is certain, the Earth will look very different in 100 million years. The familiar landmarks and coastlines will have shifted, mountains will have risen and eroded, and new landmasses might have formed. Our familiar map of the world will be a thing of the past. Life on Earth will continue to evolve creating new forms of life we cannot even imagine. Change is the only constant in the universe and this holds true for life on Earth as well. Over the next 100 million years evolution will persist, driven by the same forces that have shaped life for billions of years. Mutation, selection, and time. Let's take a moment to appreciate the grandeur of evolution. It is a slow, meticulous artist, painting with the genes of organisms, using the environment as its canvas. It is a process that has given rise to the wide array of life forms we see today, from the smallest microorganisms to the largest mammals. In 100 million years, the face of life on Earth will likely be unrecognizable to us. New species will arise, adapted to the changing environments and the shifting continents. And what about dominant species? It's a fascinating question. Today, we humans take that crown, but the future could hold a different story. One possibility is that another animal group could take over the dominant role. Perhaps a species of bird or insect will evolve intelligence similar to ours, or maybe marine life will take a surprising turn, and we'll see an era ruled by hyper-intelligent octopi or dolphins. 
But it's not just about intelligence. Dominance could also come in the form of sheer numbers or adaptability. Ants, for instance, already outnumber us and can survive in a variety of environments. Could they be the next rulers of the Earth? Or perhaps the future dominant species doesn't exist yet? Evolution has a knack for surprises after all. It could be a creature that evolves from a species we consider insignificant today, or something entirely new, born from the ever-changing dance of genes and environment. But all of this is mere speculation. The truth is, we cannot predict with certainty what new life forms will arise or who will be the dominant species in 100 million years. Evolution keeps its cards close to its chest, revealing its hand only in the fullness of time. The future of life on Earth is as fascinating as it is unpredictable. Climate, the ever-changing aspect of our planet, will take a new course too. As we project millions of years into the future, we must consider the climate scenarios that could arise. Climate is the long-term average of weather, and over the course of millions of years, even slight changes in this average can have substantial effects on the world as we know it. The Earth's climate has always been in a state of flux, influenced by factors such as the sun's energy, the planet's rotation and tilt, and the composition of the atmosphere. Over the next hundred million years, these factors will continue to interact in complex ways, leading to a range of possible climate outcomes. One potential scenario is a hothouse Earth, where increased solar radiation and high levels of greenhouse gases could lead to a much warmer global climate. This could result in a planet without ice, with sea levels significantly higher than today, and with tropical conditions extending to what are now temperate regions. On the other hand, we could also see a return to an icehouse Earth, similar to the ice ages of the past. This could happen if solar radiation decreased, or if there were significant changes in the Earth's orbit or tilt. In this scenario, large ice sheets could cover much of the planet, and sea levels would be much lower than they are today. These drastic shifts in climate would have profound effects on life and geography. A hothouse Earth might see the emergence of new species adapted to a warmer, wetter world, while an icehouse Earth could lead to a flourishing of cold-tolerant organisms. Geographically, the shape of the continents, the course of rivers and the location of forests and deserts would all be subject to change. In the face of such dramatic transformations one thing is certain, the Earth's climate, always in flux, will be radically different. The world of a hundred million years from now may be almost unrecognizable to us, but it will still be shaped by the same fundamental forces that govern our climate today. The Earth's climate, always in flux, will be radically different. What about us, the humans? Where do we fit in this future? The fate of humanity in a hundred million years is a mystery wrapped in layers of scientific conjecture and philosophical musing. As we ponder the future of our species, two main possibilities emerge, either we adapt to the Earth's changes, or we don't survive. Let's explore the first scenario. Humans have a proven track record of adapting to new environments. From the icy landscapes of the Arctic to the scorching deserts of the Sahara, we've made nearly every corner of this planet our home. So, it's conceivable that we could adapt to the Earth's future changes. We might develop new technologies to cope with shifting continents and changing climates. Who knows? We might even evolve physically to survive in these new environments. However, the changes we've discussed so far are gradual. They take millions of years to happen. But what if something catastrophic occurs? A massive asteroid impact, a supervolcano eruption, or even an alien invasion could wipe us out in an instant. In such cases, survival might be a matter of luck, not adaptability. Then there's the possibility that we won't be around at all. We might become extinct due to our own actions, such as nuclear war or environmental destruction. Or we might evolve into a completely different species, leaving no trace of Homo sapiens behind. And let's not forget about the possibility of us becoming a spacefaring species. We could colonize other planets or even galaxies, ensuring the survival of our species even if Earth becomes uninhabitable. Each of these possibilities paints a different picture of humanity's future. Some are hopeful, others are bleak. But one thing is certain, the fate of humanity is in our hands. Our actions today will shape the world of tomorrow. And the choices we make could determine whether we thrive, merely survive, or fade away into oblivion. The fate of humanity, like the Earth itself, is uncertain and intriguing. So we've traveled 100 million years into the future. We've seen continents shift, creating new landforms and altering our world's geography. We've witnessed the emergence of new life forms, adapting and evolving to the changing environment. 
We've experienced drastic climate changes with a warmer global temperature and higher sea levels. And finally, we've contemplated the fate of humanity, pondering whether we as a species will adapt, evolve, or perish. Understanding the potential future of our planet is not just a whimsical thought experiment, it's an essential part of planning for a sustainable future. By anticipating the challenges and changes that lie ahead, we can better prepare to face them, ensuring our survival and prosperity. The future of Earth is a mystery, but one thing is certain, it will be a world vastly different from the one we know today. Let's continue our journey of discovery, exploration and learning as we strive to understand and shape this uncertain future.